Hello everyone, welcome back to part 18 of The Sims 3 World and Island Adventures. So Summer and her best friend, her bestie, Florence, are at the beach. So Florence came to Isla Paradiso for a visit, I guess. So I thought Summer and her friend could hang out at the beach, do some girly kind of things, get to know each other a little bit better. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Paul has found a previously uncharted island. It is now yours to build and customize to your liking. What other hidden treasures and secrets are out there for adventurers to discover? Wow, <laughs> I did not realize he would find this island that freaking quickly. Good going, Paul. GG, Paul. So we have our own little island over here. How freaking adorable. We even have a little pond with a sprinkler. How badass can we get? I freaking love it. Oh, screw you, Florence. You were so loving it. <laughs> you were so loving it. Don't pretend that you weren't. But I am so happy that we have our frickin' island here. Can we just go into build mode? Buy modes? How big is our island? Holy crap! It's the whole island! I love that! So I got Paul to actually take his boat or take a taxi boat to this little island here I guess and try to find one so that's really 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 freaking awesome eventually I would like to try to build a bit of a private beach kind of house a beach house on an island our own island so that is sort of the plan look how pretty it is it's so cute it's so tiny I am so loving it just like McDonald's I am so loving it so eventually I do want to maybe move here. I do love our houseboat, but I do want these guys to have an actual house one day. They might have kids. They might get married. They need a backyard, you know? <laughs> so freaking Florence, she left us. So much for that really true and real friendship. <laughs> Okay, so we got more money for today, and we got a lot of money for our gems in the last part. So we have 32,000 freaking simoleons. We are rolling in the dough. <laughs> Paul, how about you come here for a little bit? Summer, I'm sorry to tell you that, honey, but that is not going to happen. It's not going to happen if Florence keeps on being mean. <laughs> she had to go back to France, so I forgive her. That's okay. She's allowed to do that. <laughs> and she still has the opportunity here to bring a serving to Paul's father some food. We have to prepare like a nice quality meal and we have yet to do that. Because <laughs> Summer kind of sucks at cooking still. What are you doing, girl? Girl got some moves. I'm liking it. She also got some lifetime happiness reward points, which I'm also really, really loving. So we are going to purchase one for 25,000 simoleons. Points, I mean. <laughs> some mermatic help. Gives you a bite-sized bit of mermatic help. Strong enough to bring out the fish in any sim. I was kind of hoping that Summer would befriend a mermaid, but I don't think we really even saw a mermaid in this whole Let's Play so far. <laughs> I might have been totally, totally oblivious to it though, but I still have yet to actually see a mermaid. So since she has enough points to purchase it, we might as well do it. I still want to befriend a mermaid though. If we ever come across one, I do. <laughs> so we have some mermatic help. Yuppie. I'm so freaking freaking excited for that. But before, before we do that, we are going to become a resort owner, yes. I'm also very, very, very much excited to own a resort. I have never owned a resort ever since I played 
with Island Paradise. The once popular beach resort was a prime vacation hotspot of days past. It has recently had some rough times and is still in need of competent management and facility renovations. The city needs your help. Would you like to take on the responsibility of owning and running a resort? Yes. Okay, so I thought about this. I actually put some thought into this. <laughs> we are going to be naming the resort Summer Breeze for now. I did want to include summer in the title because it kind of makes sense. I do want this to be like summer's resort. Not Paul. Paul has enough going on, but summer can have a little hobby to do. Another way to make some money. <laughs> So we are going to be calling it Summer Breeze for now on a three-star resort. Ooh, fancy. Fancy pants. So although I never owned a resort before, I did do my research, so I do have an idea of what to do. Sort of. Not really. I'm just going to go along with it. <laughs> okay, so this is our beautiful, beautiful, lavish resort. I do like it. I know it is crappy looking, but it's a it's a cute kind of crap. You know what I mean? It's oddly adorable. <laughs> it looks so bad that it's so freaking cute. Okay, so let's go to resort management and okay. We're making money, I I assume. <laughs> I'm hoping we will eventually. That's the goal. Improve resorts. Reviews. Oh my, we are a two-star resort. The food I got on the plane was better than that garbage they served here. Very lush resort. See, that is what I was saying. It's a resort on the beach. You can't get any better than that. This might be the only resort around here that doesn't offer dessert food. Unless this changes, I plan to stay somewhere else for my vacation. You are bluffing. That is such a bluff. There's not enough food choices at this resort. A food stand will help. I know it's not El Samhara, but I was expecting to find a pool to cool off. You got the frickin' beach. Why do you need a pool? <laughs> a firewalk pit. Okay, so that's good to know, I suppose. <laughs> I do love this resort. I don't know why. Like, I mean, we have a freaking bathtub. You can't get any better than that, you know? You get to have a bath while looking at the ocean. That's high class right there. Okay, so I guess we can get like another few buffet tables. That would certainly help. I will be doing a lot of changes off camera as well, but I'm going to do a few things on camera. Just a few basic things. Alrighty, so we can set the food type. Since they were complaining about dessert, we'll give them some dessert. And we'll make sure that it is medium. We'll do medium. And we are going to set... How about we do some breakfast? Because you are... What are you? You are lunch. So I guess we should get another one for dinner, right? It has to make sense. <laughs> so we'll do dinner for this one. And how about we purchase maybe a fire walk pet? We'll, we'll do that. We have enough money to spare for right now. And again, I will be changing a lot of this off camera. But we'll do that for now. We'll give them a little something amusing to do, I guess. <laughs> So we are the owner of a resort. How friggin' amazing. So Summer, your life is about to change forever. And my story for how Summer even got her hands on Marmatic Kelp is that during one of her and Paul's scuba diving adventures, Summer found some kelp which was almost calling her name. Like, it kind of put her into a spell. Like, you know how in Sleeping Beauty, Rose, she pricked her finger on the spinning wheel. She was kind of in a trance. That is sort of what happened to Summer. This magical kelp was sort of hypnotizing her into eating it. Summer, Summer, eat me please. 
So, she got the kelp, and she did not tell Paul about it, and for some reason she wanted to eat it. She did not know why, but it was just calling to her. So, therefore, she is going to eat it and become a mermaid, which she probably is not going to be too, too happy about in the beginning because it kind of feels like another reason for her and Paul to not be together. Everybody thought Paul would get in with a very rich, a very beautiful, sophisticated, normal normal kind of girl and Summer now feels a little bit more insecure about it kind of like maybe she and Paul should not be together because she will be a mermaid freak <laughs> so that is her kind of viewpoint on it Paul is in love with Summer she means the world to him he would easily easily die for her he would die to protect her all he wants is for her to be happy and safe in life. <laughs> so being a mermaid, that would not affect his feelings for her any. In fact, he would probably love her even more because they would be able to have even more adventures together, especially underwater while scuba diving. So I think he's going to love her all the same. His parents' opinions on her do not matter. He does not care what they even think because all he knows is that he loves Summer and he wants to have a future with her. Being a mermaid or not, he loves her. But it might take Summer a while to start realizing that she does not have to feel insecure about her relationship with Paul because of who she is. Because Paul likes Summer for who she is. So she does not have to feel bad about her decisions in life. <laughs> so she is going to eat some delicious marmatic kelp. Eat me, Summer. Eat me, eat me. The kelp is saying. <laughs> so we are going to eat it right in front of Paul. So he is going to be scared out of his mind. I wanted to take a picture, but damn it. <laughs> Summer ate it way, way too fast. <laughs> but that's okay. Ooh, a lot of people are at the beach. How nice. How nice for them. <laughs> oh my goodness. She's levitating. God, it's taken her forever. <laughs> oh, there she is. Oh my goodness. She has scales. My goodness, Summer. You are a little fish. You are a big fish in a, in a big pond or... An ocean, whatever. <laughs> yeah, go use the washroom. I can't believe it. She is a mermaid. How freaking awesome. I'm so, so happy about that. <laughs> and Paul still wants to hug her romantically, so he is still loving her. Of course he is. Oh, his father is calling him. Hmm. <laughs> He and his dad are not on the best of terms. <laughs> Paul's father really, really does not approve of Summer, so I doubt his parents are going to like Summer at all anymore because she is now a mermaid. <laughs> They're not going to understand. They're not. We'll still talk with him, though, because he is our dad's. I wish there was a mirror in here. I would like to change up her scale colors. That would be nice. So you are a mermaid. What do mermaids eat exactly? <laughs> um, I know they eat kelp. I assume they would eat fish. Ooh, you can eat rainbow trout? That's so gross. Well, at least you cut it, though. You cut up the fish before you ate it. <laughs> I love her even more now that she is a mermaid. She is so freaking beautiful. God, she is so freaking gorgeous. I can't get over it. <laughs> oh, she did not finish her opportunity in time. I was trying to. I was. But she did not make any nice quality meals. <laughs> 
She really wasn't, so. I tried, though. I tried. Okay, she is home. Oh, that's so freaking exciting. We're not going to do this stuff anytime soon. I probably will build the resort off camera, though. So, Summer, you are kind of tired, so how about you go sleep? Go sleep, girl. You had a long day. Slap? What the heck? What the heck, Paul? <laughs> what the frickin' heck? Okay, just slapping random women. That's okay. Oh my god, I see a message in a bottle. Oh my god. First message in a bottle I ever saw in my whole life playing The Sims 3. <laughs> But Paul, I can't get over it. You slapped her? <laughs> Man, Paul. You got some anger issues there. You do. Ooh, a rare message in a bottle. I'm a genie in a bottle, baby. Tell my wife she was right. I should have bought the flight insurance. That is actually really, really, really depressing. <laughs> I find that super, super depressing. You are tired, so how about you head on home and you can go to bed and I'll pick up in the morning. So we are in Creative Sim and we are going to be changing up Summer's skills because I am so excited to do that. But this music, this music. <laughs> I'm going to pause you for a moment. Okay, so I'm not really sure what color I really want to give her. Is it just me or did her tan go away? I don't know. <laughs> okay, her tan is back now. I guess it wanted to go away for a little bit. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Okay, so I kind of want to go with maybe like a pink or something. Maybe we'll make her scales blue instead. I'm kind of feeling the blue, like a sky blue. All right, I think I kind of like this for her scales. Something a little bit blue, something borrowed, something new, something old, and something blue. Girl got it all. She has it all going for her. So that is Summer's new fish look. <laughs> I love it. I love her so, so much. So hopefully you guys like Summer's new fish look. I think she looks really, really, really beautiful as a mermaid. I'm so happy she is now a mermaid. It just makes it all good. It makes it all worthwhile. <laughs> so we did purchase a resort in this part. Summer is now a mermaid and we found our first and hopefully not our last secret uncharted island which could possibly be our new home in the future. So maybe one day I'll build a house for these guys there. I would love to try to build a beach home. I think that could be kind of fun. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you guys and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.